Okay, Bino Black here, folks. Nibiru, folks. Nibiru. Up by the sun, we got pictures today from A head that's going to show it, and it's three tetrahydrons. Real quickly, I'm out of there. You can get check us out at Bino Black. Helen is Truth, Earthquake Truth. You can also get us at this Super Giants Main. We got material at the sun, folks. Nibiru is up and it has missed the sun to the lower right. Okay? Or a supergiant. Okay? Could be wrong and it could be a supergiant, but that is one of the tetrahydrons right there with my pointer. That's one of the tetrahydrons of Nibiru. Either that or there's another tetrahydron out there today. Because this is the 18th hour or 18th date on UTC yard. Okay? And there she is some more. Okay, he did add her, it's a supergiant, and the sun is in the supergiants, okay, so we are getting glimpses of the supergiants. Okay, at Antarctica, in the, at the, the South Pole, the sun is coming up when it's supposed to. Now, this is daylight already, the sun's already up, and you can see down over here, that the sun is already up, it's eight. 26 UTC, okay, but then one of the tetrahydrons or some other object in the supergiants is lighting up the sky. Okay, also there, it's still 810, the sun's already up, but this comes up. There is with the normal sun up, folks, down there in Antarctica right now, okay? We have Beltrus and Rigel, has a lot to do with things. And Tegulus, Naus, 70 times the size of the sun. There's the supergiants. I have the photos in my photo gallery. There's the sun. And the sun is in the supergiants main sequence, folks. It is in the supergiants main sequence. It's in the front, okay? Most all the big giants and the stars and stuff are back here, but that is the material that we were seeing around the sun. Okay, I'll quickly get out of this. Let's see if we've got a shot. That might be the new number that they have on it. Probably 2014, folks. The Bureau will be closest to us. Okay? There's a crowd that was at the Wall Street thing today. I got one picture in, uh, there of the... on my web channel. Okay, and if you can see, the quakes are going pretty much in line with flares, folks, from the sun and we don't have any new quakes right now. So, I'll go to what we have set up here to look at. Okay, so the, here we have a very good example of the daylight. Okay, those are the months down there. You'll learn to read these. And those are the hours over there. Okay, the line right there is today's date. And that's when we get into winter time, it's going to be 24 hours of daylight down there. Okay, we're lucky right now. We get the little bit of darkness between the zero to three hour, but at the zero to three hour, we have the tetrahydrons of Nibiru lighting up the Antarctic. Okay. Then there's daylight, and then there's also the risings of these tetrahydrons that are in the supergiants and the other planets that are getting illuminated in, in outer space that are lighting up the darkness down there in the Antarctic. The scientists are getting a very good show down there. As I said, there we either have the supergiants or tetrahydrons. Today's date is the 17th and this is the shot of the 18th because it's GMT Zulu time, folks. 
one more shot the heat that's on the north pole folks from us going through space the static electricity that's messing with our magna here on earth so be no blackout for now folks that's the heat signature and the statisticals everything you're going to see from me is going to be down in Nat's butt if I'm wrong on something I will admit it but we are in the super giants folks materials around the sun Nibiru is up there Ellen is coming and Ellen is very humongous if you pay attention to my next video. Later.